I'm sorry I couldn't get you more information about the circle, Bethany. It's difficult without naming you. Thank you for being discreet. I don't want the Templars at my door. No one does. Let them corral the troublemakers. I just want information. Right. Right. Sounds like I'm trying to convince myself, doesn't it? I wouldn't have said, but yes. Here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartrand can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. Any entrance would do, wouldn't it? Unless a dragon's sitting in it, I suppose. We need an entrance that's close to our destination, but isn't already plundered or filled with darkspawn. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. Why would a Grey Warden know that? The Wardens don't just fight Darkspawn. They forge into the deep roads all the time. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. Are there any other options? <sighs> None at the moment. Bartrand had an entrance lined up, but it was a bust. I'll keep looking, but if we don't find something, we'll have a fancy expedition with nowhere to go. Sounds like you have it all planned out, Varric. And that, Messer, is why I'm here. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A Lowtown woman named Lorene has been helping the Ferelden's. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work.
Do you ever wish you lived in Orzammar? Great ancestors, no. You know what Orzammar is? It's cramped tunnels filled with thug shit and body odor. And every person there thinks he's better than you because his great-great-great-grandfather made a water clock or something. But they're your people. Don't you even wonder what it would be like? I have a good imagination. Why would I waste it on that? Ferelden in the guard. What will they think of next? You have a problem with that? Me? My family's not native either. I'm just surprised. A lot of old prejudice in the guard. I'll give them plenty of reason to change their minds. You know, it's possible they're just scared shitless of you. That's my theory anyway. If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of slew the Archdemon to save us all. Fat lot they care here. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. Then I'll only ask very smart questions. I do not joke, Sirrah. You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer... He serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. And yet he needs to hide. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. You mean he's a mage? Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? We would never turn someone over to the Templars, mistress. Never. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. Your healer is in no danger from me. If this mage is an apostate, the Templars will find him. No mage should suffer for an accident of birth. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. I haven't eaten all day. We heard you in there, asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town. And it ain't gonna happen to him. Look, we're Vereldans just trying to keep out of the Templar's sight, same as you. Vereldan? But you, your clothes. I figured you for a Kirkwaller, sorry. Make her bless the rule of our Queen Anora. If it isn't Hawk. Still up to old tricks, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still in Ethemral's employ. 
Things have been going well since then. Could be better. Could be worse. I often feel the same way. You may recall I sometimes provided potions for ephemeral. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free, for old time's sake. Being a guardsman seems like a better life than being a soldier. Oh? My brother was a soldier. It's all about taking land and serving some king you've never met. Guardsmen? They do something real. They protect people. They make their lives better. I don't know if I agree. Neither would my brother. Our three children. 